Hello again, everybody. Okay, so I was looking through the tutorial and I found this. This will replace soil. Simple open image library. Well, this is stb underscore image by Sean Barrett. So, apparently it's a very popular single header image loading library. Able to load most popular file formats. Easy to integrate into the project. And I've already done that. <laughs> There is a define that we have to get in here. Define stb underscore image implementation. There we go. So it says, by defining that, the preprocessor modifies the header file such that it only contains the relevant definition source code, effectively turning the header into a CPP file. And that's about it. Now simply include the image.h somewhere in your program and compile. For the following texture sections, we're going to use an image of a wooden container. I already have that, but I think I'm going to put it in here somewhere else too. We're going to go to Documents, Projects, 2D Platform, 2D Platform, right there. Okay. To load an image using this, we use stbi underscore load function and with height number of channels unsigned chart data is to be i load container okay so we need that so we should probably put this Okay, generating a texture like any of the previous objects in OpenGL. Textures are referenced with an ID. Let's create one. Gen textures. Okay, yeah. The glgen textures function first takes as input how many textures we want to generate and stores them in an unsigned int array given as its second argument, in our case just a single unsigned int. Just like other objects we need to bind it, so any subsequent texture commands will configure the currently bound texture. We need to bind it to a target. The target is glTexture2D. Okay. Now that the texture is bound, we can start generating a texture using the previously loaded image data. The textures are generated with GL text image 2D. Hmm. And I have already used this function before. Large function with quite a few parameters, so we'll walk through them step by step. Okay, and then it talks about that. After we're done generating the textures, of course, it's good to practice to free the image memory. STBI image free data. Okay. Oh, okay. The whole process of generating texture that thus looks something like this. Oh, 
Okay, cool. For the upcoming sections, we will use the rectangle shape drawn with GL elements from the final part of the Hello Triangle tutorial. We need to inform OpenGL how to sample the texture, so we'll have to update the vertex data with the texture coordinates. Oh, we've got colors and texture coordinates in there now. Since we've added an extra vertex attribute, we again have to notify OpenGL the new vertex format. Going up to our vertices here. Okay, there we go. Positions, colors, texture coordinates. Oops. Okay. Position, color, texture coordinates. Stride 32, stride 32, offset 0, 12, 24. Oh, and it just gives you that. There's the fragment shader. Oh, source code. Perfect. Source code. All I need from here are these three right there. Boom. Excuse me. What was that? Set up the vertex attributes right there. Okay, that should work. Oh, I see you bind it before the drawing. Oh, that's cool. That's crazy cool. Okay. Anyways. So we need to update the vertex shader. Oh, yeah, and we actually have the... Um, <coughs> of course we have it in here too but. so position color text cord that's our next copy just put them in there. Like that. Ba ba da ba da ba 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 And there's more, because those that's just for the vertex things. And then, this here, okay, right there.
Our colors, your position, A position, comma, one. Okay, so that takes care of the vertex shader. It allows you to pass in the color and the texture coordinate, and those go on through here, just get passed through. And then same thing here. And a sampler, a uniform sampler. Nice. So let's just take out our uniform <laughs> that we were playing with earlier. Da -ba 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 uniform sampler. Frank Lucas texture, our texture, comma, text chord. Uniform sampler 2D. Okay, so we need to. Find the texture, bind the VAO, and draw the elements. Okay, so here. Okay. In the uniform, we're not going to use this. Oops. Actually, I kind of like it, so we're going to leave it like this. Because we're going to use this, too. So. See, they use the shader thing, but I just put it in there, so... <clears throat> what was I remembering to do? I was remembering to do something. Oh, the uniform thing. Get, where does it get the uniform for the huh? does it not use it? Maybe it doesn't use it. Let's see what happens. Huh. Oh, it works. Cool. And I didn't do any of those fancy wrapping functions or anything either, but we could do that easily. You know, it's right in here. <laughs> All those fancy uh, set the texture wrapping parameters. Okay, copy that. Set the texture wrapping parameters, generate mint map. Right there, all that fun stuff. Same thing. It looks exactly the same. So Okay, well that is uh loading and uh, uh loading and using a texture. What? If your text code is not shows oh to get a little funky, we can also mix the resulting texture color with the vertex colors. We simply multiply the resulting texture color 
with the vertex color and the fragment shader to mix both colors in the fragment shader. So we, oh, that's right. So we can just put this in the fragment shader. So let's try that. Let's comment this one out. Then paste that in. Our texture, text score, our color, everything looks good. Oh, nice. Look at that. There you go. So it takes the colors and it ma mixes it with the uh, texture. Very nice. So if you like this, be sure to like and subscribe. And of course, head on over to learnopengl.com. It's pretty awesome. All right. Well, thank you for watching and stay tuned for many more. This is getting fun and exciting now.